I was recently thinking about some of my favorite projects of all time, and I realized that most of them were mixtapes rather than albums. Of course, this led me down a rabbit hole of thinking about mixtapes, and I realized that the trend of mixtapes, as I so fondly remember, has almost completely died off. The mixtapes I'm referring to were mostly associated with hip-hop. Generally, they were digital-only albums released for free online, often including borrowed beats from other artists. The popularity of mixtapes in the mid-2000s to mid-2010s fought back against the traditional digital music distribution model, which at the time was dominated by the major record labels. Mixtapes during this period propelled the careers of many of today's biggest artists, including Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, Mac Miller, Joey Badass, Wiz Khalifa, Chance the Rapper, Childish Gambino, Kid Cudi, and way more. The list could go on for a really long time. So in this video, we'll be discussing why mixtapes during this era were so special, and I'll also share my thoughts on why we don't see it as much anymore. So let's start this off by rewinding back to the mid-2000s. Being a part of the generation of listeners raised on the internet, paying for music always seemed like a suggestion, rather than a requirement. Suddenly, everyone was listening to digital mp3 versions of their favorite music on their computers, iPods, or mp3 players, rather than a CD or record player. But the iTunes paywall on music made it motivating to search for free music other places online. And all of this music, with all of these rights, you can buy for 99 cents per song, Especially when you were just a kid and didn't have a credit card or your own money to spend on iTunes when a new song or album came out. LimeWire and other torrent sites thrived in the unregulated internet. Not to mention the fact that YouTube's rapidly expanding library of music would soon change listening behaviors forever. All musicians recognized that this was a disruption in the music industry. Some saw it as a death sentence, but others saw it as a new opportunity. However, one thing stayed the same. There were a lot of artists who wanted to get both their name and their music in front of as many people as possible. This was true for new rappers who wanted to break into the scene, and for existing ones who wanted to step away from all the limitations of commercial rap music that had been placed on them. The reason the mixtape movement was so successful and took over at the time was because it made music more accessible than ever, which was a benefit for both artists and fans in the hip-hop community. This was the perfect storm for a new platform to start that could be the hub for artists to post free music on. And along came Datpiff. From its founding in 2005 and into the rise of streaming in the mid-2010s, a kid could go to the website and download a zip file and receive the newest mixtapes in hip-hop in just a few minutes. Because the artists weren't selling or directly profiting from the music, they were able to legally use beats or complete snippets from other songs and movies without worrying about copyright lawsuits. This opened up so much room for new creativity, and we got to see rappers remake or absolutely tear up other artists' songs, like Lil Wayne often did with his mixtapes. At that time, it seemed like dropping a free mixtape was a rapper's rite of passage and a powerful way to connect directly with their fans. The definition of mixtape had evolved to include projects with original production and beats, but could still indicate an honest, raw effort of an artist who was intensely focused on their craft, rather than just branding or money. Mixtapes were a way for a rapper to build up their resume, establish a fan base, all while giving the artist total creative freedom. You might be asking yourself, if these mixtapes were so amazing for both artists and listeners, then why are they less common today? I believe the main reason is because streaming music on platforms like Apple Music and Spotify has become so uniform and easy. For most people, streaming services have everything they'd want and more. Plus, it's convenient to use just one platform, so that you have all of your music in one place and you're familiar with how to navigate through it. For a lot of listeners, this is more than enough to keep them comfortable, and they don't feel the need to explore outside of that platform to try to find new music. Although the barriers for artists to upload music is pretty minimal to most of these services, the new landscape limits opportunities for artists that are hoping to shake things up by putting out a traditional mixtape. The problem is that the mixtapes are still subject to copyright on those platforms, and unless they're submitted by an approved distributor or label, Spotify and Apple won't even touch them, since they have no way to guarantee that the content doesn't breach copyright of someone. If artists want their mixtapes on Spotify, they would have to provide them by a Spotify aggregator or label, which costs money. Money that the artist has to pay. The vast majority of listeners use these platforms that make it incredibly hard to upload mixtapes, especially if they use a ton of samples or copyrighted material. 
it just isn't as convenient anymore for the artist, and the consumers are too satisfied with their current platforms, so they aren't exploring the web anymore for alternative ways to download new music. Perhaps advancements in technology will disrupt the music industry again, just as the internet and mp3 files once did. Maybe it'll create another perfect storm, opening up a new door for the next era of mixtapes. I did the channel's first giveaway with my last video and promised that the winner of the Denzel Curry vinyl record would be announced at the end of this video. As I'm recording this, the winner still hasn't been selected, but I'll put the winner up on the screen. Let me know if I should do more giveaways moving forward. And let me know what your favorite mixtape of all time is. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I post hip hop related content every week, so check out some of my other videos as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.